What's up everybody, Frank Valkyria, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much guys for being here today as well. It's Sunday, one day left before we get to see another 7-8 hours of... <laughs> I'm practicing my crying, okay? I'm just practicing, alright? Anyway guys, Let's go here on Justice for Johnny on Reddit to check some both memes and maybe some funny stuff and new info just to lighten up the day but at the same time to go deeper and deeper. <laughs> All right, I stop. I stop. Let's start here right now with the first indeed they don't. Katie Russo, what's up with Katie Russo here? What do you think of the strategy of Johnny Depp purposely not looking even one time at Amber Heard during her testimony? Reply, victims don't want to stare at their abuser. That's actually exactly what I said when I watched the all three hours thing. I, I find that very interesting and telling that the guy felt really like he, he wasn't comfortable in his skin just to be there, you know? Like, wow, I was like, ooh, seems like somebody else is the abuser to me. This recording of Amber as, as me dead. Okay, let's stop it for a moment. Uh, why do you start when I don't click on you? We have to make it bigger for the audience. We have to put the volume up and then. Oh, you can't understand me. That's, uh, okay, you can't understand me. How about you call her, C-A-L-L, -L, call her. Why don't you pick up the phone? In my own. F O N O. Why don't you pick up the phone? <laughs> yeah. El Fono. And call her. God, if only I could spell it out for you. Oh, we should. Well, words are so hard for me. Uh -huh. Let me try again. F O N N. F-O-N-E, sorry. <laughs> so many. Oh my god, this is hilarious. This is hilarious. I remember this part of the video. El Fono. Oh Jesus, you know, like uh, words are not the only thing hard for you. Also making any sense in general, apparently. Eh? Jesus, that freaking Johnny Depp is a freaking saint. Petition to add Camille Vasquez flair to the sub. I don't know exactly what this means, but uh, let's try to find out why that is. She already been added to my heart. Uh, we don't have to sexualize anybody. I agree. Fine. But it's nice when both talent, beauty and grace are kind of shown into our world, you know, that we are exposed to that. That's nice. That's nice. That's very nice. I heard this Eve Barlow, Eve Barlow, the Eve Barlow. I think it's a friend of her that was thrown out of the trial, if I remember correctly. It is incredible that it took a male actor closing his Instagram account after online harassment and intimidation before the press can take note of the vile antics of Johnny Depp online fan community. All right, all right, lady. Uh, what happened here? So he had to close his uh, Mads and Mikkelsen, deactivated his Instagram account. It's not D-Pad's fault. He's always gonna be my Grindelwald and never gonna watch, uh, blah, 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 but I don't hate Mads, whatever. I don't know what's going on here. I m maybe, maybe he just deactivated it because he knew that he was going to get some heat, but um, more probably referring to Warner Bros. or like whoever is the, I don't know if it's Disney or Warner Brother, whatever is the company here that fired the Johnny Depp. I don't think anything gets directed towards him personally. I'm, I'm pretty sure of that. I don't even have to look at that. But the thing that is interesting, it seems like we have here, remember when Eve Barlow sent out racist tweet and then deleted them 
I won't be reading anything that awful woman writes about. Shame on Variety for publishing anything from this disgraceful person. Say I'm gonna ride with my mother All right. Most likely I'm gonna die with my finger on the trigger. Uh, per -ter -per -ter -per. Wow. She get she even wrote this? Oh man, I'm so happy. I actually posted one tweet now that uh, this whole thing was going through Elon Musk or something. Or is it this is Instagram or Twitter? Is Twitter? I've never freaking used Twitter. I'm so happy. I'm not aware of their reality of writing BS most of the time. Okay. She immediately got called out. Yeah, this is, you know, this can happen on both sides, you know, like when there are belligerent fans, people which they swap like uh, common sense and facts with uh, with just the desire to win. Doesn't matter the tactic, you know, like Machiavelli. Il fine giustifica i mezzi. The Machiavellian way of reaching your goals. Yeah, that's not really good, I suppose. So this is also news that I heard that um, the Warner Brothers had to basically unfollow one of their actors performing in their movie. I mean, that's messed up. That's messed up. I mean, uh, like if it's true. But then again, you know, I'm not a I'm not a person that likes to spread hatred even though I want the truth and justice served, right? And and it seems like now it's really backing backfiring this on her life. But then again, if you lied about all this stuff, right? Then it's also reasonable that you would expect consequences. After all, all those allegations towards Johnny Depp literally destroyed his career for years already. So what is this? One more day closer to cross-examination. <laughs> That's funny. And all those are many phases of Johnny acting. Actually, there are some movies I haven't watched. I, I think actually this one I remember. I think this is Before Nightfall with Javier Bardem. This one I don't remember. I, the Barber I also haven't watched. Some of the... This is probably who hit Gilbert Gilbert's grape, maybe, that I watched. I think there are just few that I haven't watched. Probably the Barber thing. I don't know why I haven't watched the Barber thing. Sweeney Todd movie. For the rest, I think I almost watched all of them. Ah, uh, maybe you know, another one I think I didn't watch is the... I think probably the, the Peter Pan writer, right? Okay. I like maybe it's good to see. Actually, it's funny to see all those roles. Right? It's much more than it's much more than you think. Actually, when you see them like this, and there is of course there is also more. I suppose Dead Man is my favorite right there. Yeah, is there like uh, Don Juan de Marco? Is not in here Don Juan de Marco? I don't see Don Juan de Marco in here. That's interesting. Not Don Juan. All right, this is uh, not well. Let's skip this. Otherwise, probably they're gonna. Uh, yeah, you cannot show too many pictures of this stuff. But it's interesting to see that. Yeah, this is unfortunate. Poor Rihanna, that she was, she was punched or slapped, and you see like the really the damage on her face. And I remember reading like that this was slapped by a man that was driving the the boyfriend that was driving the car like a few times it was she was struck and it's unfortunate and you see here like this is the day after after this incident in the penthouse where she was like pummeled behind the head and head butted and all kinds of stuff like that yeah it makes no sense honestly that really like lost me is your right. okay let we gotta listen to this amber fecal matter amber fecal matter let's go check this out is your character real yes is your character a girl yes is your character a famous youtuber no 
<laughs> Does your character personally know you? No. no. Sorry, I did not catch that. No. Because somebody just stepped in in the wrong moment. Oh. Does your character personally know you? No. Does your character create music? No. no. Does your character often appears without a shirt? No. Phew. <laughs> Is your character an actor? Yes. yes. Well, uh. well. Is your character American? Yes. Is your character blonde? Yes. Has your character ever played in a superhero movie? Yes. <laughs> Is your character in the Avengers? No. <laughs> Is your character abusive? <laughs> yes. I guess that you are thinking of Amber Heard. <laughs> you know yes. Oh, wow. This is real. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. This is getting worse and worse for this freaking disturbed soul. Oh, man. I'm sorry for her. I, I hope that, honest to God, like, you know, I don't like the feeling despite the fact that, I, I you know, I don't like her, you know. But I don't like this feeling that the entire planet is ganging against her, you know, like I... I always hope somebody can get better, you know what I mean? And learn from their mistakes. Likely here, nobody got, you know, hurt uh, in the way that was irreversible. But even though there's a lot of hurt involved, but not hurt that is irreversible, you know, like, uh, yeah. Sometimes I think of this and I'm like, wow, the way those guys, they were running, you know, with uh, with both prescription drugs and alcohol and other stuff and that kind of like really toxic relationship like i was just thinking yesterday about like how close how close actually jd was to perhaps overdose you know having an heart attack because of the combination of this stuff so i'm actually really glad that this is over and he made it true because you give it for granted but so many guys so many like musicians um of, of his age or around that age you know like in their 40s or whatever by a crazy combination of pills and prescribed drugs and whatever they passed away including michael jackson prince you know like uh, it's so it's crazy that this could have happened and probably was very close to happen and luckily it didn't happen really luckily it didn't happen for jd but uh, i was just thinking yesterday there must have been moments where this was very close, very close. So thumbs up to the JD, his health and everything. So I don't know if this is true. I saw this news. Like it seems like that he flew in Europe, in the UK and in France to visit uh, friends and family. JD, you should have passed by Amsterdam. God damn it. I, I would have even smoked with you and I don't even smoke anymore. You know, drink a beer or something. Um, so that's cool. Probably he's flying back today, I suppose. Oh, I think this I saw. This is an entire like uh, podcast uh, BS, which is, yeah, I don't even want to go through that. Waiting for Monday. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Uh, like, let's see, Amber will be hella jealous. Amber will be hella jealous. Cancer by Hollywood, but Johnny Depp, Savage Cologne by the All Sold Out, Boost Sale by 28%, Retails $110, number one selling. Man, I don't even wear perfume, I'm gonna go buy one. I don't wear perfumes, I'm gonna buy one. I saw so I noticed something sketchy in this community. Every time I upload a post, it's immediately or almost immediately downvoted. I wonder how many Amber Heard fans are lurking here. Um, yeah, I cannot see like, how do you see the down votes? I'm not super uh, good at this. Yeah, I'm pretty new with the, uh, with Reddit, honestly. So this is JD daughter, absolutely beautiful doing her thing. Also for Chanel. That's pretty cool. Ah, uh, this, we just saw this. 
this uh, Barlow. When Johnny would talk about her physically abusing him, I mean, he was just very dramatic about everything about it. <laughs> of course, nobody likes to be slapped all the time. Oh man, she must be fine. Um, hell yeah. Who? Desire and, and repulsion. <laughs> the best. Goals. <laughs> A beautiful concept. That one I'd say worth dying for. Who cares? The best exile. <laughs> Who cares about money? Of course, yes. It's, it's the. the it's funny because it seems like I always said that I said this before. It seems like she's unable to do to emote in the right way. You know, like feels like she's kind of like trying to find out. It's like an Android kind of measuring and slowly tuning herself, finding out how to emote correctly, depending on the circumstance, you know, like <laughs> it's like it, it's totally cringe. The whole thing, like the already 24 seconds are cringe. <laughs> So she was unfollowed by also the director of the movie. Wow. Well, I, I guess about the movie, it's going to be like a tough thing because it, uh, I think they already most likely, I don't think she had a big role in it anyway. You know, I don't think she had like, a, uh, like who knows what a gigantic role. And even shaving down to 10 minutes, actually, that's a lot of time. That's a lot of times, you know, throughout the movie, 10 minutes, 10 real minutes of screen time. You know, you can put a lot of dialogue in uh, in between the movie. So I don't think she had much time. It will be interesting to see how much time she had already in the first movie. I don't think she had a lot of time. I think I also saw her briefly in Justice League or the extended version, like uh, a little bit. So I think in the first uh, Aquaman, I don't know. I don't think she had like uh, half an hour. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. It would be interesting actually to know if somebody already knew. Leave a comment if you do know that information. That would be nice because then you have a, a kind of an idea, you know. So 10 minutes to me in a movie where you're not the... I don't think she's the main star, right? Uh, like, like a supporting actor, I suppose even though I guess she's supposed to be like the girlfriend or the becoming girlfriend of uh, Aquaman, right? I don't know. I actually don't know that much about the movie. I watched it. I watched the um, uh, DC uh, universe. So here we have that day where she was having so much fun with the kids of JD. That totally looks like they're having a ton of fun. Probably Lily Rose is like, stay there. Stay there in the in the French accent. Please stay there at the distance that it's safe for my perfume not to mix with your perfume. All right. I'm pretty sure. And I, you know what? She's totally right. I wouldn't want to mix my like sweat, the humidity like surrounding me with her humidity. Not that she has much humidity coming out of her body. But I'm just saying. Um. <laughs> hey, this is what's funny. It's true. It's funny like that. Like the lawyers of JD were just objecting while she was crying. And then she was sort of like come back to baseline. You know, again, another example of how not to emote. Like really unable to emote correctly. <laughs> We actually did, guys, uh, the reaction, the music reaction of JD singing Eros. If you're curious about their reaction, it's on the channel. You can search for it. Um, yeah, this is so funny. This is new. This is a new picture. That's really interesting because I like when I watched this picture, I immediately thought like, oh, but you know, the shadows are other part of the body. They're also as dark. You know, because you can increase also a little bit something in the in the editing of the picture to make it look like, you know, that this color is not dramatically different than this color or this color or this color here or right here under the neck, you know. So 
and you see actually this picture with the uh, with the lighting that kind of makes the circle around the eye yeah so it looks like exactly the same it's amazing it's li literally it's the shape of her face and it's funny because if you see here it seems like she has dry lips a little bit you know with some uh, pimples or whatever wow interesting this picture actually quite interesting all right let's jump to uh maybe uh oh really what is this well, i don't know if i can show you this but you can see the title you can click it yourself so you can go look for it this is when she went to coachella or something like when the the day that she pooped inside the bed oh by the way look at this i i have it like right here bam sorry bam sorry bam sorry that's it that was the thing that's the poo i was curious uh you know as to the shape of that poo doesn't look like nice poo honestly so she cannot even poop nicely like a nice beautiful long like twirling masterpiece of a poo that that was kind of a strange uh, gross honestly so guys okay let's stop it here i think oh okay let's finish with this i think chris rock said something about uh, in in, uh, in a sketch i think if i remember correctly this is again that woman the ballet um i think he said something like believe all women but amber heard <laughs> this stuff is getting so out there now like it's so obvious that nobody believes in this woman that honest to the universe if she wins oh man it's gonna be an outrage that it's gonna last i don't know for how long but either way you know like uh, jd career will resume it will, it's gonna take some time and again to close this uh, video this more light-hearted video i honestly also hope that this woman whatever she's going through whatever she, delusional delusion she has in her mind or whatever happened i think i hope that she can learn from this and set her life on a better path of doing whatever she can to um, contain to improve to keep under control whatever mental issue or diagnosed issue she has that needs medical and professional help that she can be on that path of keeping it under control and have a better life i uh, i definitely don't wish for uh, you know even for this person despite whatever she's did wh all that she has done which is uh, pretty bad honestly but despite those things i hope you know that that might have a chance she might have a chance to to be in a better place in her life because there is a there is enough like wow when freaking probably ton, you know i'm pretty sure there must be like hundred million people already or close to that that really despite this woman <laughs> don't like her very much that's not a nice place to be honestly so anyway guys uh let's check tomorrow check the other videos today i'm gonna do also live so stay tuned thank you for the support and uh be cool be cool be cool be the cooler version of yourself in 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 as a tribute for jd let's try our best eh? be the cooler version mimicking one cool dude all right guys talk to you later ciao